All right, I'm Mick here with Tools today. We are going to answer a question that has been floating around in the new Neuron videos on YouTube. And the question I've been seeing a lot is what exactly is Neuron? So for my understanding what Neuron is, the Neuron is the communication between the battery and chargers. So it, Neuron has connectivity and data at the core of the system. So basically every tool you see here and every tool we will make in the future is generating data and storing it on the battery. So even if I'm just going to do a couple trigger pulls, I'm actually writing my runtime increase, increase every time I'm pulling the trigger and writing it down. So how do I actually get this data out? Do I need to connect with Bluetooth or do I need to set up a Wi-Fi system on my job site? No. With Neuron, it's as simple as a single click. Just like that. And you can actually see we're already sending data to the cloud as we're charging. Now, if you look at these two chargers, one has an additional piece compared to the other one. And that additional piece is for communicating between the battery and charger to the actual user. And this is charging just as simple as it has been for 20 years with cordless systems. No special setup. We use cellular global networks. So anywhere your phone works, this will work. And there's nothing additional to do. So we collect that job site, we collect that data from the tools without interrupting anyone on the job site. And then we take this data, we combine it together with our services such as fleet management, our direct customer relationship, our logistics operations, our repair operations, and all brings and com comes together as data-driven services. That is services that make, uh, or data that makes services better, essentially. Well, Rigid has Bluetooth and Milwaukee has one key. So when it comes to Neuron, this communication is cellular. You know, you don't have to have the tool in your hand or be by it next to your laptop or cell phone. So you could download this information anywhere. Neuron is a service, by the way. So I did ask them if you buy these tools as a regular consumer, if you're required to pay these uh, service fees. Is that mandatory? They, no. They, they, no, so you're just going to have the charger itself and you don't have to have any... Yeah, you can get but, just the charger by itself, yes. It assured me that you do not have to pay these service fees, but it is an additional option that companies can do, and companies will snag this up, big time. As far as the data management goes, mm -hmm. the, there's there a dashboard? Uh, who's allowed to see the dashboard? Yeah, good question. And so that actually ties back to something I wanted to bring up. So, you know, one thing, the data is owned by the customer. Um, and also the data is, is um, anonymous when it's sent from the tool. So oh, I plug this in right here. It's just tool number one, two, three, four, five, data in the cloud. In the future, are you guys going to implement a program to where you could actually like uh, uh, turn the battery off mm -hmm. to where you can't use this battery until you hit a button on your phone and then it'll reactivate the battery? Yeah, no, like, if you can see that becoming like, one key. Sure. Yeah. I mean, in general, we, we know that theft is a problem, right? And we yeah. want to help as much as we can, especially with the data. What we don't want is that it becomes a hindrance if there is no theft, right? right? Yeah. So we really, it's, a, it's a, a thing that we have to take very seriously when we think about something, a solution like that, that we don't cause somebody to be less productive right. um, because of a, a something we put into place. Staying in the yeah. scary, <laughs> scary question line, um, so are there any uh, cybersecurity risks or, or any, you know, just I guess, yeah, there are always data risks. security? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, there are always risks, but we comply with all of the governance that's required for, for data storage um, in, in all the local markets, et cetera, so, and, and where the data is stored here in Europe, um, and we take it very seriously. Right? Better than me explaining would be to show you a video of what that actually looks like for a customer. So let me show you uh, a short video that also illustrates some of the use cases that we have at launch and uh, how they benefit our customers. So we can actually store multiple tools worth of data on a single battery if it moves around. So you can see here we have all those different tools with various usage information depending on the tool. We have utilization, which is like runtime, cycle count, and location information we also get from cellular data. For instance, we can use this location data to help you find tools. We hear a 
lot that customers say, people are hoarding tools on job sites just in case something happens. I want to be able to find those tools to keep them productive. And with Neuron, we can actually see how long tools have been sitting idle so they can move them to other job sites without spending unneeded money. That's what Neuron really is. These are stronger batteries. We are going to put that to the test between the Hilti tools that I have now and compare them to the new stuff to see if the uh, if the tools themselves are worth upgrading, if there is a, a significant difference in power. All right, so the battery holds the data on how it's been working all day. When it comes to being in different tools, with the location, and all that stuff. They, all the new tools are on one battery platform. They don't have 36 volt anymore. It, everything is one battery. And then additionally, Neuron is the communication between the tool, battery, and charger and the option to be able to uh, download all the data from the battery uh, while it's on the charger to your device. So when it comes to this system, it's just the beginning. They have the option to add more services uh, as they develop the software more. You know, just like there's updates for your phone. They might start doing updates for these batteries now, which would be actually be a unique feature if they if that's what's going to be in the future. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.